Hi guys, what's the crack? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about LRF fishing. So what is LRF fishing? Basically, LRF fishing is light rock fishing. Now it originated over in Japan and it's obviously after finding its way over to Europe where everyone copped on that you don't need to go far to catch a fish. The whole thing about this is right underneath the harbour walls and around the harbours and along the shoreline, there's a massive aquarium of fish just below your feet. And they realized that if you can downsize your lures and downsize your, your skills basically using light tackle to have a bit more fun, um, you can catch a various, a huge amount of species. So it's after becoming very popular over here in Ireland, I've been talking a lot to the lads up there in Southside England, Craig Murphy and the boys. Um, I love lure fishing basically and every species of fish interests me. So this is right up my line. So I've been in contact with the lads. They sent me down a few things, suggested a few things to have a go at um, to get the species count up, to get up on the chain. So I'm a beginner to this basically lads, I live in the middle of Ireland. The sea is two hours from me. So when I make a trip to the sea, I want to be able to catch a few species and not to blank basically. It, it's, uh, it's a good way of getting fish on the bank. Um, cool looking fish, you'd be so surprised the amount of fish you can catch just beneath your feet when you're doing this sort of fishing and um, using methods like jig heads and drop shot, you know, just basically light, light fishing right in front of you down at the harbour walls. So the lads basically sent me down a few things. First of all, I'll show you, this is a pocket in kit. Um, it's basically all you need to go LRF fishing. So what's in it is there's five jig heads in it. Um, you could use these in rock pools, anything like that. But the jig heads are maybe one to two grams and there's a low little tiny minnow style lures, as you can see there. So they're one to two inches. And the idea behind that is you drop it into the, sorry, no, you drop it into the rock pools. And in all these rock pools, you'll find stuff like gobies and blennies and scorpion fish, all these mad looking things that you would not have seen otherwise. What you do is you drop it into the cracks of the rock pools, and you, you wiggle it basically, and they just come out and they're so predatory, you know, it's um, it's hours of fun. And um, there's a lot of videos across YouTube if you're going to look it up. Um, so basically, if you're looking to get into it, this box alone is enough, as long as you have light tackle and you can feel what you're doing with, the, with, your, with your finger on the line. So a few other things they sent me down, the way I'll be doing it basically will be with drop shot method. Um, there's a lot of videos across YouTube of what drop shot is. What it is basically is you have these leads and you use very small hooks. So these are size 12 Gamagatsu hooks. So you have your lead, I'll show you now. You have your lead here and maybe about six inches above it. You have your drop shot hook tied onto your line. So you, you lower it down the harbor wall and you're going to hold it there and just wiggle it. And that movement alone with the current of the water will get the, bite, the fish to come up and bite it. And you're talking fish from that size up to six or seven inches. And obviously you have the chance of getting a pollock or a wrasse or a, you know, a, a bass even. You never know what you're going to get. Um, so the lures that you use on the drop shot hook, you can use all sorts of soft plastic, but the most popular thing would be the isomy worms. So they sent me down these two in particular. There's a pink one and a green one. I don't know if you can see that. Um, there's a bit of a, a smell off them basically. They, la they let off a scent. So if you're from the middle of Ireland basically, and you don't have time to get down to the sea, to dig fresh ragworm and stuff like that. These are a gift. Um, they'll often outperform stuff like fresh baits for whatever reason. And you're only really using about an inch of it. So it lasts forever. That one packet will last you well over a year if you're going down regularly. Um, so the tackle that you're going to be using to do this sort of fishing, you're going to be using ultralight tackle. So this is my perch rod, basically. It's a Garbolino one to 10 gram rod. That is a size 2000 Daiwa Ninja Reel with some 10 pound braid. Um, now for a leader, you're going to want to use fluorocarbon leader. Um, two or three foot of fluorocarbon leader. I know some lads use three or four pound. But um, in today's video, I went down to Kerry out of all places. <clears throat> which is about two hours drive for me. So I said I'd go down and give it a go. Um, I use my perch rod basically to do this sort of fishing. A lot of lads use a lot lighter, but a perch rod for me, is, it's fine. I already had it in the shed. So I used the drop shot method with the isomy worms along the harbour wall. And it was all a new learning experience for me, basically. I managed to catch two new species. Um, so you'll probably see them in today's video. 
I'm sure it's a bit windy, so I don't know what the footage came out like. I'm going to go through it now. So hopefully you get to see two new species for me. Um, I'm going to do it as much as I can throughout the summer. It's really fun. Now, I love perch fishing and ultralight species. And there's, there's so many, there's dozens of species that you can come across doing this. And they give such a good fight on the ultralight rod. So you've braided lines, so you're feeling everything through your fingertip. So that is the crack for today's video, lads. Um, don't forget to leave a like, comment, share and subscribe. Um, there's some footage after this from my trip down to Kerry. Just a few clips, nothing special. So enjoy today's video, lads. Now, so lads, this is the gear I'm using. It's this uh, ultralight spinning rod, size 2000 reel, some 0 0.07 braid, and I'm using a drop shot rig. So with my drop shot rig, it's basically two or three foot of six pound fluorocarbon. It's probably a bit thick, but it'll do the job. Down to a, a tiny hook on a drop shot setup with a little tiny smidgen of ice on my worm and then I have a, a drop shot lid so there's a bit of a flow down there hence the big lid but obviously you'd be using lighter generally um, and basically what you're doing is dropping it down along the wall letting your line straight down once you hit the bottom close the bait arm hold it on the bottom and just give it small little jiggles you can lift it up you can put it down move it around <laughs> you know you can't go wrong so that's the tactic fish on guys oh, I don't know what this is oh. what that is that it's all a learning curve for me now No, that's, I think it is a smell. No, it's getting back. Now, guys, small bit of the pink I saw me worm on the drop shot. Let's drop it down and see if there's anything down there willing to take it. It's a big enough bait. I don't know, maybe it's too big. We'll see. On. Oh, I came off again. Push on, guys. No. We get a picture of him on the phone. No, guys, there he is. Not sure what it is. Probably a smelt or something. Off he goes. Now, so we have what I think is a smelt. Now, my sea fishing knowledge isn't fantastic, so this LRF fishing to me is new. But it's so much fun with the drop shot and the braided line, super light gear. Um, the smelt is only like that size, you know. I think it's a smelt, I'm not sure, I'll find out later on. But um, yeah, we're having a few of them so far. So we'll stay going and see if we can get a few more. Oh, it's a gurner, no way. Nice. Oh, that's savage. Nice. That's one for the species now. Now, lads. First ever gurnered on the LRF. How cool is that? What a beast of a fish. Let's get him back. See you later, buddy. Now, guys, that is it for the first LRF fishing video on the channel. I've done my best to get a few species. We finished with two. Um, what I think was a smelt and a gurnard. So, good crack using the drop shot method. And I saw me worms from south side angling. Fair play to the lads for sorting me out. Hopefully we get a few more LRF fishing videos throughout the summer. So don't forget to hit that like button guys, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you out here next time.